Hi, it's Lindsay from the Lindsay Smith Group. It's January and it's really cold. And I'm standing down here listening to the waves crash in Lake Ontario. So I want to take a couple minutes of your time. This is really a 2020 recap on what happened last year for 2019. So if you were one of the people that tried to sell your host last year and were unsuccessful, there were 625 people. This is kind of a bit of a message directed not just to you, but anybody who's planning on getting your house sold for 2020. In the last 34 years selling real estate, I've realized there's three distinct groups. Number one are the people that are thinking about selling, doing the research, checking the market out. There's that smug group, the ones who are sitting there, probably with a beer in their hand, and noticing that there's a sold sign on their front yard. So there's the guys that are sold, there's the other people who tried to sell over, say, the fast five years and were unsuccessful in getting their houses sold. So that's pretty typical to the three groups that are out there. One of the things I found successful and really helps the process for selling is to educate the people I'm working with. The smarter the people that I work with are with real estate, the better the decisions they can make. So typically what I do is I take a one year snapshot to show them what's happened trend wise. Then I do a one month to show them what's happened currently. So in 2019, we had 6,186 homes sold. That's up 1,628 from 2018. That's a phenomenal increase. Um, we also had 625 people that tried to sell and were unsuccessful. That's one out of 10. The average sales price jumped. So these are detached pri home prices. The average price for Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington combined jumped $38,000 last year. So we had 1,628 more houses sell and we we're up 38 grand per house on average in getting their houses sold. So let's do a one month snapshot. We started this year off, we had 213 fewer homes for sale than we did in January 1st of 2019. That's, that's an incredible difference. What that means is there's fewer sellers. So if you're on the market for sale right now, you've got a spotlight on you. Also, if you look at it, in December of last year, so last month, we sold 65% more houses than we did the year before, the December before. So we've got more sales taking place. We have fewer homes for sale. The average price is up and we sold more houses last year than we've had in a couple of years. This is the perfect storm. So with 213 fewer homes for sale, the reason you get out early is this. If you think about this, if you're heading down to Toronto, let's say Monday you decide you're gonna go into Toronto downtown. You can leave, leave at nine o'clock a.m. or you can leave at say three o'clock in the afternoon. If you leave at nine, you know you're gonna be jammed with thousands of people trying to get to downtown Toronto. And it'll take you forever to get there. If you leave at three, you're gonna sail right through 100 kilometers an hour. It's the same in real estate. The fewer houses for sale, and like I said, last month we had a jump up in activity for buyers buying. What it means is that you'll get your house sold at really good price. If you are planning on getting your house sold, this year we are in the perfect storm. My suggestion is get it out early. My next suggestion is give me a call. I'd love to sit down and show you how knowing these numbers will help put dollars in your pocket. I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555 and I will still be on that phone, even though it's so chilly and my hands will be freezing. I, you can catch me also at the email address at the bottom of the screen. Have a great week. Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington.